Alright guys, in this video, I want to show you how you can create YouTube Originals logo inside HitFilm Express. Alright, so here I have the reference video and this will help us to create this animation. I'm going to create a new composite shot and call it Intro YouTube. And for the duration, we'll go with 2 seconds. And make sure that the width and height is 19, 20, 1080 and the frame rate is 24 and click on ok we'll create a new plane layer and we'll just call this pg for background let's give it a white color and click on ok then we are going to drag in our youtube icon i'm just going to bring it inside this composite shot then right click on it and click on make composite shot and you can call it yt logo comp click on ok now here what i want to do is i want to separate out this play icon from this red youtube icon now in order to do that we are going to use a freehand mask tool i'm going to just zoom in and let's bring in this background plane layer and just put it at the top let's turn off the layer visibility by clicking on this eye icon and now with the layer uh, with the freehand mask tool we are just going to create a shape around this play icon and just close the path and now you have a shape so if i just turn this off you have a shape like that so you can also fine tune this if you think that it is not looking uh, good so you can just i'm going to select these two points and just move it to the left a little and that should work all right so now we have our play icon on the separate layer and the background shape the red shape on the separate layer um, and let's go back to our YouTube intro YouTube which is our main comp I'm going to go inside the transform of our layer and let's just decrease the scale amount to 35 alright so now we are going to create a new text layer and I'm going to type in YouTube originals the font that I'm using is Trade Gothic. I'm going to use this font, Trade Gothic. I don't know what font they're using in their in their original intro. So let's just use that. And um, I set the font size to 134. And I have also reduced the tracking or the letter spacing, which is set to negative 60. So do that. And then we are just going to use the selection tool and just place it in the center like that. Now we are going to animate our logo first so i'm just going to turn off the layer visibility on our text so let's just focus on the logo now let's bring in this youtube originals the intro animation which is the original the reference video let's bring that in put it at the bottom and uh, i'm just going to right click on it and go to options and show waveform so this waveform will help us create our animation like it will help us know where the transition should take place so if we listen to it so you can see that the transition happens around the 20th frame so yeah let's create a keyframe on position under our youtube logo comp create a keyframe there and we are also going to create a keyframe on the very first frame as well so just uh, make sure that on the second keyframe we just move the position to the left so maybe around negative 410 i'm going to select the first keyframe convert the keyframe to manual bezier and hold the shift key and just drag this handle all the way to the right so we have this animation that starts slow and then ends really fast something like that okay so the next step is the text uh, let's animate the text now so let's just enable that layer and we're going to go to transform and go to the 20th frame create a keyframe on position for the first frame create a keyframe on position and on the first frame i'm going to make sure that the position is all the way to the left i'm going to select the first keyframe convert the keyframe to manual bezier going to value graph and hold shift key and drag the handle all the way to the right so we'll have a similar kind of animation for our text as well which will start real slow and then end really fast on the second keyframe just double click on that and change the position and bring it to the 
right side of our logo now what we want to do is just keyframe the color so we're going to go to effects search for fill color we need to apply it on our background layer and i'm going to expand that and again go to the 20th frame create a keyframe on color jump to the next frame by hitting the period key on your keyboard and we're going to use the color picker tool and just pick this red color from the logo so we have a transition color transition in the background layer and we're going to apply the fill color on our text as well so just drag and drop it and again go to the 20th frame let's create a keyframe the first color will be black and let's create jump to the next frame and change the color to white to change the color for our logo we cannot apply the fill color on the logo comp itself because if we do that then you can notice that it will apply the fill color to the entire shape the play icon and the background shape as well which we don't want we want it to be colored separately so we are just going to delete the fill color from here and we are instead going into the logo comp itself and apply color on these layers separately so let's i'm actually going to rename this to shape okay so let's apply the fill color on the shape layer first make sure you are at the 20th frame expand the fill color click on the color keyframe to create a keyframe out there jump to the next frame and we are going to change it to this red color and we are going to copy this fill color effect Control c to copy it or you can right click and click on copy and i'm going to paste it on the youtube logo right click and click on paste so here we just want to swap the colors so i'm just going to swap the keyframes i'm sorry and we're just going to bring this to the right and this one to the left bring them closer make sure that the distance between these two keyframes is only a frame so yeah that should do the trick uh, so if we go back and take a look at the animation we'll have something like this awesome and now we are almost done we just need to hide this text over here which is visible from the very beginning and we are going to do that by going back to the media panel over here let's bring in this background plane layer put it at the top and i'm going to call this mat and uh, i'm just going to hide this mat layer what i'm going to do is i'm going to position the right edge of this mat layer on this youtube logo and then we're going to go to effects search for set matte effect apply it on our text and expand the set matte set the source layer to matte set the blend to subtract and yeah that should be fine now we just want to make sure that we parent the matte layer to the logo comp layer so we can click on this parent and from the list we can select youtube logo comp so it will follow the animation of our logo so something like that and the last thing we want to do is make sure that our text is below the logo comp because right now you can see the text is above so if we just drag it down it will look like that the text is coming from behind this logo so yeah that is it guys uh, i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one